Hey guys, Justin with J Primo's Properties. And today I wanna to talk about something that comes up quite a bit in my interactions uh, with sellers in my day to day. And that is trying to sell a property with tenants living in the house. So a lot of people don't know all their options that they have when they're in that situation and they're looking to sell the property. So I thought it'd be kind of a good video to go through and kind of explain the options that you have. And um, hopefully one of those will be a good fit for you if you're looking to sell your house with a tenant occupying it. So number one, you can actually just wait till the lease expires. So if it's a one year lease, um, you can wait till the end of that lease and then not continue, give the, the tenant notice that you're not gonna extend that lease that you're looking to sell and uh, just wait for that lease to expire. And then at that point, you'd have an empty house and you can list the property, you can even do updates if you'd like, kind of bring it up to the, to the showing condition and then list the property that way. So that's kind of your first option is to wait for the lease to expire and then take steps at that point. That can be challenging for a lot of people because a lot of folks I talk to, they want to sell the house either right now or they want to sell it fairly soon. They don't want to wait that whole length of time. So that can be a challenge if, if you're trying to sell it in a certain window of time that you're looking for. Number two is you can sell the house with a tenant still in there. A lot of buyers like myself, um, we'll buy a house with tenants occupying the property. So we do that quite a bit. Uh, it just kind of depends on the tenant and their situation, but if they're a, a great tenant, they've been paying on time, taking care of the property, a lot of buyers um, like that. So they wanna actually leave the tenant in place as long as they're, they're paying you know close to market rent, uh, and they're a good tenant with this paying on time, not having issues, it can actually be kind of a good thing. So don't always think you have to get the tenant out of the house before selling a property. A lot of buyers are fine with buying a tenant or buying a house with a tenant already occupying the property. So that's definitely an option as well. Next up is actually make a special arrangement with your tenant. Sometimes tenants actually are wanting to leave early uh, but they don't think that they can. And so sometimes if we're buying a property, we talk to the tenant and say, hey, what are your goals? What's your timeline looking like? And uh, sometimes we can help pay for moving expenses, all kinds of different things we can do. Um, sometimes if it's, if it's a kind of a tough situation, we can do kind of cash for keys just to help them get a fresh start when they're moving to their next place and kind of help them move uh, to their next property in a good way. And so making a special arrangement with your tenant can work out well. Sometimes they're wanting to leave early and you're wanting to sell the house and have to be vacant or your buyer wants it vacant. Um, so just talking to your tenant, understanding their situation, you can make a special arrangement with them and that can kind of work out well also. So another one that people don't think about a lot is asking the tenant if they want to buy the property, especially if they've been in the house for a long time they might actually be very interested in purchasing the property. So when I talk to folks, a lot of times I ask them, it's like, hey, have you actually asked if your tenant wants to buy it? Because they already know the house, they're familiar with it. Um, and sometimes that can be a great option that just is an easy sale process for everybody involved. And the tenant doesn't even have to move, but then they get ownership and you still can accomplish your goal of selling that property. And then lastly, this is the one that we try not to, to do unless we absolutely have to. And that's eviction. So if the if the tenant is a very troubled tenant um, and there's maybe not paying rent or different things or destroying the property, there's just challenges with that. An option is actually going through the eviction process and then selling the house at the end of that. Um, what we specialize in is again, we, we buy properties with tenants in them, even if it's an eviction situation, uh, we can help you with that. Take a look at it and see if it's something that might be, or we might be a good fit at helping you out with. So those are your options when you have a tenant occupied property that you're looking to sell. And so lots of different ways you can kind of go about it, but hopefully that's helpful to you guys. And I will look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. So thanks so much. See ya.